Hey guys, Topaz Labs are at the center of the boom in AI-based photo retouching applications. I personally own three of their applications, Topaz Denoise AI, Topaz Sharpen AI, and Topaz Geiger Pixel AI. And the reason I'm doing this video is they have got a bit of software that is now in pre-release mode. And what it does is bring together those three applications I just mentioned in one. So I thought I'd take a little look at Photo AI, which is the name of the application in question, put it through its paces. This is not a review because it is pre-release software. Okay, it's not been released, it won't be out for some time yet, but they have kindly let the Topaz community take a look at the software and you can go and look at it too if you want. You just have to go to their forums and sign up and, and download it yourself. But I'm gonna put it through its paces with a few photographs that I picked out, which I've got ready in Lightroom. So let's hop into Adobe Lightroom and do some editing with Photo AI. <laughs> So what I thought I'd do is run through one edit and then show you some others that I did already. So here we have a photograph. Now the reason I picked this out, as with all the other photos, is that it's ISO 6400. So there's quite a bit of noise in the background here. And actually in this photo, I don't mind the noise because it's almost like photographic grain. But let's say that we aren't happy with it and we want to remove it and maybe sharpen up the image and do some other modifications using the software. So all we have to do is click Edit In, Topaz Photo AI, and it will ask to convert it to a TIFF file, which is what we want. You can't edit raw files in this software. So we'll click Edit and let it create the TIFF file and open it in Photo AI. So here we are in Photo AI. I'm in side-by-side -side mode, so you can see what's going on. We've got my original here with all the noise in it and the retouched version over here that Photo AI has modified. I'll just give you a quick explanation of the interface we've got here. We've got this autopilot. Now this is the AI based photo detection section where it will try and work out using machine learning what is in the photograph and it will create some educated guesses on how to process that itself. And that's what this autopilot is. So you can see it says subject detected and if we hover over that, you can see it's masked out the parrot and the umbrella. It's missed a bit on the edge of the umbrella over here, but that's no biggie, easy to fix up. But it's done a pretty good job, I think, detecting the subject of this photograph, which is good. It's saying no faces are detected, and that's because one of the new things that this software does, that Photo AI does, is face recovery. So if you've got a portrait that you need to fix up, that would be enabled. It says the subject is in focus, which is true. Might not be the case, in which case it would automatically toggle the sharpen down here. And it's saying the image noise level is severe, which, you know, I guess it is. It's pretty noisy. Again, I quite like the grain in this, but it's chosen to remove the noise. And there are two options here. We've got normal and strong. And I think the normal's done a pretty sensational job. What we might do is quickly zoom in to 100%, let the preview update. And as you can see, if we swing this over to the right here, look at the difference between the image on the left and the one on the right. It's really quite remarkable, isn't it? All of that grain has gone, but we have not lost any sharpness whatsoever in our lovely little parrot here. Now here's a little secret tip, uh, which I learned using Topaz Sharpen AI. Whilst this software has decided that it's in focus and therefore doesn't need the AI-based sharpening, I find the results are often pretty damn good. And it does a very nice job in just accentuating cleverly the details of the subject. So I'm just gonna open this sharpen up. Now we don't want lens blur, that's not what this is. We're gonna choose motion blur. I've found that this works really well. So it's just updating it, sharpening it, and there we go. And as you can see, it's done a really nice job with these feathers. Look at the difference between the original on the left and this on the right. We've got this beautiful sharp edges around the edge on the wing here. The feet are looking great. It's even tweaked the umbrella a bit, although I'm not too bothered about that. But as I was saying, 
that's a really, really nice sharpening. It's not over the top at all. And of course, if it was, I can knock back the strength. If we dial that back down to say 20 and let the preview update, then we've got a nice middle ground there where it's just pulling out a little bit of edge detail and it's looking absolutely brilliant. Now, before we go back to Lightroom, I'll just point out that there is this enhanced tab where it will take very low resolution or graphics based images and improve them using the same machine learning. And we've also got this resize thing, which is basically the import of the Geiger Pixel software. So you can increase the size. And again, it does this with AI. It's an intelligent resizing. It's not a standard sort of a bitmap resize like you'd find in Photoshop on its own. All right, so we're back in Lightroom. I've got the XY comparison. We've got our original on the left and the retouched photo AI version on the right. And immediately you can see how much better this version is with all the noise removed from the background here. And if we zoom in on the parrot's head, we can also see what a great job it did with sharpening it. I just love what it's done with these little white flecks of feathers here. Just done some beautiful edge enhancing there to bring out the detail and on the wings. Okay, so here's a night sky example, just to show you what the software is capable of. Obviously the Sydney Harbour Bridge. This is a 30 second exposure I shot on my Canon 7D2 quite a few years ago. And we'll zoom in on the sky and we can see that it's done a brilliant job of get rid of this low light noise here to the extent that we've got stars here that were not visible before. They were buried in all this noise. It has over sharpened the sky here somewhat based on this kind of cloud bank, which is nice and blurry in the original. The problem at the moment is Photo AI, as it stands in its pre-release version, doesn't have any, any AI masking tools. So I could mask out portions of this image, such as the sky, if I wanted, or not sharpen them as much as I would the rest of the image. So it's kind of gone a bit strong on that and there's quite a dark edge there. It's easily rectified, of course, and it's done such a good job on everything else. It seems a bit mean to pick on it for that, but it is what it is. So if we zoom in on the path here, you can see it's also greatly reduced the amount of noise here and it's done a pretty good job on sharpening up these people without going mental. All right, let's move on to my next example. And this is interesting because it threw up a weird problem with the software when I was using the denoising, which I wanted to show you. So I'll go straight into XY on this. And I wonder if you can spot what the problem is. So obviously it's done a great job of removing the noise from the image. But if you look over on the right here at the retouch version, there's this weird, square in the middle of the image. I don't know why it's rendered that, where it's come from. There's nothing at all like that in the current image. I, originally I saw this and I thought, oh, is this because it was on my X-T4 and I, uh, it's got a different sensor to everything else. But no, this was on the Canon 7D2. It's a Canon RAW file that it worked from to create the TIFF. And as you can see, there's this weird square. It's pre-release software. I know I keep saying it, but I'm sure that problems like this will be fixed up. Otherwise, it's done a really sensational job on this image. It's a very kind of hard one to do because there wasn't that much detail in these birds to begin with. So that concludes this preview of Photo AI, this pre-release software that they've kindly released out to the community. The software shows great promise, and I'm sure they'll fix up the few hiccups that I encountered when I was using it. I do wonder if they might be eating their own market. After all, why would you buy the individual sharpened denoids and Geiger pixel when you can get the whole thing in one application? Are there gonna be features in the normal full-blown packages like sharpen and denoids that aren't in Photo AI? So for instance, the AI-based masking, which I was talking about, will they keep that out of Photo AI? Is it designed to be a competitor to something like Luminar Neo? It'll be interesting to see what the finished product looks like. But thanks again to Topaz for making this available to the community and letting us have a sneak peek at what's coming from you guys. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed watching it. If you did, please hit the old like button down at the bottom of the screen there and consider subscribing to see more of my content in your feed. That's it, guys. Over and out. Till the next time. Ta-ta.